What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today is a bit different. Today I'm going to show you how to do a glitch effect. Now you're probably wondering what is this glitch effect? Is it similar to what TikTok artists do? Yes. So the reason this video is different is because I'm going to use Posca pens for this tutorial. Now I've always had Posca pens, I just never made a video spotlighting them. Maybe my white one to add highlights to a few drawings or whatever, but you know, not much. But I do have Posca pens, and I'm going to show you how to do the glitch effect with those Posca pens. If you don't know what Posca pens are, they're pretty much just paint pens. But yes, I will show you guys how to do the glitch effect just like all other TikTok artists do. When they split their drawing in half and draw one side with a glitch effect and the other side with whatever else. So the colors you'll need will be a white marker, a red, a blue, and a black. And if the color of your paper is not a white, you can substitute it in for whatever color your paper is. But in short, you will need a colored marker to match the color of the paper, which I do have. But with that being said, let's do it. So I got a picture of Spongebob here. I drew his face so I can show you guys how to do this tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna take our black Posca pen and before we even take the cap off, we gotta give it a little shake. Just so we know that the ink is nice and juicy. Okay, hopefully it doesn't leak on me. Okay, so I got the sketch here and everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our black and pretty much provide line work to the sketch. Okay, so now that I got the sketch inked, or whatever with my black pen. I'm just gonna set it aside for now. But now that we're finished, I wanna say something real quick. It's okay if your lines will look a little bit jaggedy in some areas, but that's okay because that's where the blue and the red marker will serve a purpose. And I'm about to show you. Because if you look on the tips of these Posca pens, it's like a felt tip. Sort of like how a Sharpie gets when it's been used for a long period of time. So that's what the ends of these Posca pens will look like. Of course, the Posca pens do vary in size. So your tips can be very refined or whatever. But I'm using one of these standard whatever tips they're called. I don't know. But again, Posca pens will not give you the best result like most fine liners do. So it's okay if your lines will look kind of like mine. But now let me grab my red marker. And I'm going to give that a little shape. Alright, so now it's nice and ready to go. So now I'm going to provide this red along the outer portions of this black. Okay, so now that that's drawn, I'm actually going to turn my paper either to the left or to the right, just so it's at a landscape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this red marker and I'm going to make lines that go this way and that way and everywhere. But we're still going to keep it parallel. I want to make them look like that. And when I make these lines, I want to make them different sizes so that they all don't look the same. So like say this line is long, this one is short. This one's even shorter. Like, you can make it into a pattern if you want. But just keep in mind that they still have to be parallel. And um, when it comes to spacing, you don't really have to space them out way too much. It'll just, when you go to add the blue marker, you just have to match up those. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, let's draw these lines wherever we see red. Alright, so now we're setting the stone for our blue. I know these kind of, I know these lines are kind of slanted. It's probably easy to tell, but I did my best. So now that we're done with our red marker, I'm gonna go in with my blue. And first we're gonna give it a shake. And then we're going to apply it to the everywhere else that isn't red. Mm. 
Okay. So let me take the blue marker away for a second. I'm just gonna fix this little smudge over here with my black marker. And since I still have it, if there are any lines that I wanna fix, I can just apply the black marker. And if there are any like other white spots, I can fix that with the black marker as well. Or in any case, if you want the black marker to kind of stand out against the blue and the red, this is your chance. Okay, so we're getting there. Sorry if you can't see the blue. But speaking of which, we can go in with that and start adding some of those parallel lines like we did with the red. All right, so we're getting even closer to the end. So we're gonna set our blue marker aside for now. And now we're gonna take our white marker and we're gonna shake that up first. All right. So now we're gonna provide some breaks within these lines. What does that mean? So let's go about here right quick. So when you're applying this white marker, you wanna make sure the area is nice and dry because we got three layers of markers. We got the blue, the black, and the red. So we don't want the white to make everything smudge or whatever. So that's why you wanna give this a little bit time to dry. So I know in this area, I didn't apply any black marker, but I know I recently applied some blue marker, but hopefully it's dry now. So what we can do is we can provide a break and then another one kind of right here. And this white may not be exactly white is because we're working on top of literally the opposite color. So the black may smudge even a tiny bit, but that's also acceptable. Or what you can do is you can layer and layer and layer on top of it just to make sure that white kind of blends in with the paper. So I'm just, just uh, scribbling in some breaks within. Alright, and once you provide breaks to your face or your line work or whatever, you're pretty much done at this point. You made your outline in black, then you went around it with the red, went around it with the blue, and then broke it apart with the white. And I accidentally drew on myself too, just so you can see what I did. But anyway, that's how you do a glitch effect with Posca pens. Also, since this is popular over TikTok, let me know in the comments if you want to see me do a series out of this because I might just consider doing that. But if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. If you are new to my channel, I do lots of drawing tutorials, speed drawings, art challenges, and more. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. Let a nigga like Pat Kate